Hmm, there is a new update, been thinking about a new video. Maybe it's time to make that tutorial video I was thinking about. It might have been a glitch. Right? Oh no. No, no 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 If you're playing Minecraft Bedrock Edition on version 1.19.51 Whenever you try to spawn in NPC NBTs You'll probably face the problem where the NPC dies instantly Whenever they come out of the exploit block I fixed the problem and you can download the updated NBTs in the video description. Go to the link where there's uh, links given and click on free access. This will bring you to the Mediafire website and you can download the NBTs. And it's downloaded. After you have downloaded all of them, you'll get four updated NBT shulker boxes. I've updated the farm NBTs. The NPC spawn perfectly. They have new skins and there's a new flower for the moving book. <laughs> and it has instructions too that you can follow. But if you want to know how to operate them properly, you can go into the video cards and check out their corresponding videos to see the tutorial. For the other large builds such as the castle NBT, the mansion and the modern house, I've updated them so it will be easier for you guys to use. All you need to do is place the exploit block and it should automatically open up the uh, first NPC's command dialog. All you need to do is keep clicking on the build button. And all the subsequent NPCs should execute their commands and your castle should be built in no time. Also as you can see it spawns command block minecarts that usually send messages to the server operators or the server admins but the minecart command block outputs won't be shown to the server operators in the chat so you won't get caught. Also if you don't want the structure to be built but you've placed the exploit block you can just press kill npc and it will kill all the npcs there and you can just punch the minecarts to break them once you've downloaded the nbt files from the links you can go into the downloads folder from the archiver app uh, find the nbts uh, select them like this tap on it uh, now select copy now go into device storage Android data scroll down to io.marm.mc toolbox this one go into files go into nbt presets if you don't have nbt presets just make another folder at this location and name it nbt underscore presets now you can press the paste button here uh, that pasted the nbts at the right location now you can go into toolbox once you have loaded into toolbox, go uh, turn on NBT editor, go into the pre NBT presets menu and find the NBTs that you have uh, pasted into the location. Now select the save icon, that should give you the NBT and now you can do whatever you want with it. Oh. Uh -huh.